Brent, Sarah, after a blue victory in Nevada this weekend, Democrats will retain their control of the Senate, easing a bit of pressure for this lame duck session. The party, though, still trying to get their agenda in order. But as Connecticut's U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal explained today, he's trying to make marriage equality top of that list. Your right to marry the person you love ought to be a priority in the remaining days of this session. Monday, Blumenthal pushing for the Senate to vote on the Respect for Marriage Act. The bill passed by the House in July would codify same-sex and interracial marriage protections into federal law. Currently, both only protected through Supreme Court rulings, something advocates say is at risk with the overturning of Roe versus Wade. I was petrified. I mean, I was and still am scared that rights can be given and then taken away. Kerrigan played a key role in the legalization of same-sex marriage in Connecticut. She and her wife, the lead plaintiffs in the Supreme Court case against the state to grant them a marriage license. The case made Connecticut the third state in the nation to legalize same-sex marriage. But I think because we're in Connecticut, we yeah. feel safer. This is scary, scary times. Uh, for us, for our family, for the whole nation. Despite retaining a majority in the Senate, Democrats facing an uncertain future in the House as control is still undecided. But the party avoided a Republican blowout Monday, Blumenthal crediting campaign points like abortion and marriage equality. The red wave is still at sea. It never came ashore because Americans rejected the efforts to roll back rights. Now, Blumenthal is calling for a vote on this bill before the end of the year. I asked him today what that timeline could look like. He told me they're just a few votes away from the 60 needed, and he says post-election, he believes passage is more than possible. In the studio, I'm Mobile Forced, Fox 61 News.